we'll be we will be studying microbodies today microbodies are also organelles that are produced from the golgi complex they are organelles that are produced from the golgi complex but they are a little bit different from the lysosomes the lysosomes are larger in size as compared to the microbodies microbodies kya hai micro means small very very small and bodies means structures these micro bodies generally they also contain enzymes they are very similar to uh, lysosomes let me go to the board i have downloaded one board for you people and uh, the microsoft board i have used it in the other classes also and uh, it, it is good but you you people should tell me which board do you like more do you like the zoom board or do you like the microsoft board i like both of them so i will be using both of the boards theek hai both of the white boards because on the microsoft board the text is a little bit larger and we have uh, the options of various colors theek hai so what we are going to study together is we are going to study the microbodies these microbodies are actually they are very similar to lysosomes they are very similar to lysosomes in that how are they similar to lysosomes they are very similar to lysosomes in that they contain digestive enzymes they are single membrane single membrane i also told you that lysosomes are single membrane they are single membrane they contain specific types of digestive enzymes they contain special types of digestive enzymes and these digestive enzymes they carry out different types of functions they carry out different types of functions theek hai they ab ek to ye similarity hai ki they are single membrane then dusri baat ye hai ki they have specific types of digestive enzymes present in them then they are vesicles 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 ka matlab ye hai ki they are enclosed inside a membrane and they have some liquid content theek hai uh, although the enzymes that they contain they are different from the enzymes of the lysosome but they have their own specific functions in plants and animals then these they are also produced from the golgi complex just like the lysosomes they are produced from the golgi complex they are produced from the golgi complex theek okay? hai they are produced from the now look at this this is a similarity of the lysosome the lysosomes are single membrane structures they have specific types of digestive enzymes however the enzymes are different from those enzymes that are present in the lysosomes but they contain those enzymes they carry out specific special types of functions and these are vesicles vesicular structures vesicular structures means that they can they are soft membrane structures which contain special types of liquids and they originate from the golgi complex let me go back to the presentation now beta now here we have two types of microbodies the peroxisomes and the glyoxisomes the peroxisomes and the glyoxisomes i have a question let me see the question ji beta i am coming to the point peroxisomes and glyoxisomes now this is the general structure of peroxisomes and gly and glyoxisomes peroxisomes and glyoxisomes they have an outer bilipid layer and then they have a central core where the enzyme and the material is going to be present now what are microbodies they are enzyme bearing single membrane enclosed vesicles which are produced by the golgi complex they are found in the cells of plants animal fungi and protists these microbodies are found in the plants animals fungi and protists glyoxisomes are predominantly found in plants theek hai okay now what are peroxisomes your question beta you ask me a question let me read the question out microbodies are they present in plants as well as animals they are present in plants and animals in both conditions we see them <clears throat> but we have peroxisomes and glyoxisomes these are the main types of microbodies 
which have a variable presence in plants and animals. Okay, and we will be discussing them. Now take out your registers and note everything. What is a peroxisome? A peroxisome, it was discovered in 1965 in the liver cells. Peroxisomes were discovered in the liver cells. And it is around 0 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter. Let me go to the board and write down these things first, and then we will come back to the screen share again. Okay, now let me go to the main Zoom board. Let me open the Zoom board so that you can be seeing both of the boards at the same time. Okay. These proxisomes, when were they discovered? They were discovered in 1965. And from where were they extracted? They were extracted from the liver cells. They were extracted from the liver cells. In the first chapter, you people were studying the process of centrifugation and in which at different speeds, different uh, organelles were separated. So they were, uh, they were separated during that process. The peroxisomes, the size of the peroxisome, these are all MCQ questions. Which are, if you have your books with you and you have this written in the book, please write it down. 0 0.52. 0 0.52, about one micrometer in diameter. Now, peroxisomes, they contain some specific uh, oxidative enzymes. Oxidative enzymes. Now, if you remember the last class, what is the difference between the enzymes that are commonly found in the lysosomes and in the peroxisomes? I need a quick answer. What is the main difference between the enzymes that are found in the peroxisomes and in the lysosomes. Anybody, anybody, give me an answer, please. Because I told you, I told you about the nature of the enzymes that are present inside the lysosomes. Can anybody remember the answer? Just give me any answer so we can move ahead. We have oxidative nature enzymes present. If you answer to oxidative uh, enzymes present inside the peroxisomes. And these oxidative enzymes, this may the main example of these oxidative enzymes are peroxidases. Okay? They are peroxidases. And then we have catalases and glycolic acid oxidases. Now, has anybody got the answer? No. Lysosomes ke andar hamare paas jo ke I have an answer. Let me see. Lysosomal enzymes are digestive enzymes. Okay, okay. These are also digestive enzymes. They also break down. But specifically, what we say is that the lysosomal enzymes, they are hydrolytic in nature. Now remember this. They are hydrolytic, predominantly hydrolytic in nature. Whereas the enzymes that are present inside the peroxisomes, they are oxidative in nature. Now, in the next chapter that we will be studying is, the third chapter is enzymes. We will study the detail of these enzyme characteristics and these enzyme categories. But at present, you remember that peroxisomes contain oxidative enzymes and lysosomes contain predominantly hydrolytic enzymes. Yeah. Examples of some common exam, uh, of enzymes in the peroxisomes are peroxidases, catalases, glycolic acid oxidases. Now, where are peroxisomes present? These peroxisomes are mainly, mainly present in the liver cells of animals. They are mainly present in the liver cells and they are mainly involved in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Now, what is hydrogen peroxide? Can anybody tell me what is the nature of hydrogen peroxide? And it is because they decompose this hydrogen peroxide, the peroxidase enzyme decomposes this hydrogen oxide, uh, peroxide. Uh, so that is why it is known as the peroxisome. The main function of peroxisome is the breaking down of hydrogen peroxide. Why is it necessary to break down hydrogen peroxide? Okay, okay, do we have an answer? No, we don't have any answer at present. Okay, now, 
peroxidases, the main function of peroxidases is breaking down hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide nature is a weak acid and highly unstable compound. Very good, Shabash, Shabash, beta. I will not call out your names because I have put the lecture on recording, but however, very good. Okay, you have given me, and this is exactly the correct answer. Okay, it is highly unstable. It breaks down. It can give us reactive oxygen, which becomes very, very dangerous for the living tissues. So it is very necessary to neutralize this hydrogen peroxide. And how is it neutralized? It is neutralized from the peroxidase enzyme. Now, where is this hydrogen peroxide coming from? This hydrogen peroxide is actually coming from the detoxification of alcohols. It is coming from the detoxification of alcohols. Alcohols ko detoxify kiya ja rahe hai. Hamari body mein kabhi kabar aisa hota hai ke alcohol formation ho jati hai. Byproducts ban jate hai. Thiye, uski detoxification because of anaerobic respiration, because of some other uh, conditions, some other components present in the food. Thiye, so detoxification of these alcohols leads to the production of hydrogen peroxide. And this production of hydrogen peroxide, it becomes very dangerous and it is very necessary to get rid of this hydrogen peroxide. Then what happens? The peroxidase enzyme, which are mainly present inside the peroxisomes, they work on this work. That the hydrogen peroxide is breaks down and it makes it completely different. Because hydrogen peroxide itself is very poisonous. And very poisonous, when we it directly affects the living cells, so usko hum kehte hain, toxic. When something is very poisonous and it can uh, denature the living cells and can destroy the functioning of the living cells, so we usko kehte hain, toxic. It becomes toxic. What is hydrogen per per peroxide converted into? It is converted into water and oxygen. It is converted into water and oxygen by the catalase enzyme. First of all, peroxisome converts alcohols and it, it breaks down alcohols and peroxid, uh, hydrogen peroxide is produced. After that, catalases, it breaks down the hydrogen peroxide and then it produces water and oxygen. In plants, we also have peroxisomes present in plants, but the main function of peroxisomes in plants is mainly photorespiration, which, which we will be studying in detail in the chapter of bioenergetics. And in photorespiration, we have one step, which is known as the glycolate, uh, glycolate conversion step. In that step where the glycolate is converted into glycine, that is where the peroxisomes come into action in the plant cell. And usme konsa enzyme aara hai? Usme jo, us, usme jo enzyme kaam kar raha hai, wo glycolic acid uh, oxidase hai. Now, ab ek aur cheez mein aapko bata doon. Aapne ye cheezo ko yaad kaise karna hai? How are you going to learn these things? I have already told you people that when you are studying, you should have your sticky notes with you. And you should write down the main points on the sticky note and paste it on each page so that you should have the main points of each page pasted on the sticky note right on top of the page. Okay. So what happens over here now? I told you that peroxisomes, they contain three enzymes. They contain three enzymes. And these enzymes, three of them, is we have peroxisomes. Peroxisomes are kya function hai? to detoxify alcohol and to break down alcohol. Uske baad, jo next function aata hai, wo kya hai? Ke peroxisomes have broken down alcohol and produced hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, now the next step is the breaking down of hydrogen peroxide in which another enzyme is going to come into action and help the, peroxy, uh, the uh, peroxidase enzyme. And that enzyme is called, called the catalase enzyme. The catalase enzyme is going to break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. 
Okay, then in plants we have peroxisomes, but in plants peroxisomes कहाँ पर हैं? In plants peroxisomes are mainly observed in a process which is called the photorespiration. You just have to learn the name at present. It is present. It is in the process of photorespiration. I am repeating the enzymes, beta. I am repeating the enzyme. It is. Present only in the process of photorespiration in plants, and in that case, we have glycolic acid oxidase. And in the glycolate cycle, in which glycolate is converted into glycine. Now, these three enzymes, what are they? First of all, according to the action, the first enzyme that we have is peroxidase. Okay, it is peroxidase. The peroxidase. The peroxidases which are involved in alcohol detoxification. Then the next enzyme that comes into action are the catalases, which break down the which are play a part in breaking down the hydrogen peroxide along with the peroxidases. Then in plants we have another peroxisome enzyme which is known as glycolic acid oxidases. Glycolic acid oxidases. This is also an enzyme. I am writing down the names for you, beta. Glycolic acid oxidases. Now, this is an other enzyme which is predominantly present in plants. It is predominantly present in plants. Okay. It is predominantly present in plants. Okay. Now, let us go back to the uh, presentation. Let us go back to the presentation. Then, after we will come to glyoxysis. It is a single membrane enclosed cytoplasmic organelle which is found both in plants and animals. It is characterized by hydrogen peroxide producing oxidases and catalases. They are approx approximately 0 0.5 to 1 micrometer in size. D. Duvet and co workers isolated these particles from the liver cells other tissues in 1965 and they are enriched with some kinds of enzymes. Now look at the enzymes, peroxidases, catalases, glycolic acid oxidases and some other enzymes also. They are also seen to be present in protozoa, they are also seen to be present in yeast and they are also seen in many cell types of higher plants. The name peroxisome was applied because this organelle is specifically involved in the formation and decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in the cell. Now, is me a short question? Kya asakta hai? Is me short question asakta hai? Why are peroxisomes name called peroxisomes? Okay. Why are they called peroxisomes? Okay. Why are the enzymes present in the uh, why are the peroxisomes called the peroxisomes? So, this is what you have to say because they contain peroxidase enzyme, which is carrying out the main function of detoxification of alcohol and decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Catalases come here and they help them in this process also. That is why these uh, uh, organelles they are known as peroxisomes. Okay. Now, this was all about peroxisomes. If you have any questions, you can ask me or you can drop the question in the message, then I will answer the questions for you people.